The United States House has begun impeachment proceedings for President Trump. Last week, Trump encouraged his supporters in their armed siege of the U.S. Capitol building. The insurgents interrupted the Electoral College confirmation of President-elect Joe Biden. Certain legislatures, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, were allegedly hunted by armed insurgents in the building. At least four civilians and one police officer died. I'm Kamalu Abad. And I'm Kalama Abad. Twitter deleted Donald Trump's account with 90 million followers to prevent him from inciting further acts of violence. World leaders are divided on whether a large private media corporation should censor a public figure and set precedent for censoring free speech. The Hawaiian Kingdom Weekly reminds you that this is not the first time armed Americans have forcibly seized a government building without the support of U.S. Congress. This Sunday, January 17th, will be the 128th anniversary of the overthrow of our Hawaiian Kingdom government in 1893. It was an act of war and the beginning of U.S. occupation in Hawaii. We remind you that the Hawaiian Kingdom still exists and continues to grow intellectually. But without a government in place, the U.S. military and the state of Hawaii use Hawaiian Kingdom government and crown land to generate revenue and maintain political power over Hawaiian Kingdom citizens. In other news, Kapi'olani Medical Center nurses are on strike today after months of failed negotiations. They are demanding raises, hazard pay during the pandemic, and more PPE, personal protective equipment. They are saying that the hospital is not providing an adequate supply of masks to protect nurses. Thanks for believing in the Hawaiian Kingdom Weekly. These are Kingdom Lives. And the Kingdom Lives. Pa'i Kalima.